Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick demonstration of the St. Patrick's Day Custom Ornament Kit available over at Scrollsaw Village. Uh, this is kind of like a little business in a box that allows you to customize and personalize your own holiday ornaments. Uh, this one's celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, in this video, I just want to just jump right into the demonstration just so we can see how this works. And uh, what you end up getting is basically a template file for Inkscape. And when you open it up, it kind of looks like this. So over here we have the originals. We don't want to actually make changes to these. We want to make copies of these. Uh, that way when you customize them, uh, you still have the original to go back to to make uh, additional ornaments. If you accidentally over save over the top of it, it's not a big deal. You can go back to Scroll Saw Village, download another copy, and you're uh, kind of back in the races. Over here in the middle, we have the page. Anything that is on the page is what will get printed when you send it to the printer. And then of course, over here we have some instructions and usage rights. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right in and uh, design a few ornaments. I'm gonna grab this uh, lucky ornament here. I'm gonna just select everything with a marquee tool and I'm gonna copy it into my clipboard. So just come up here to edit, copy, and then click over here on the page and then come over here to edit, paste. It will uh, paste it onto your page and just kind of move it over where you like. Uh, I'm just going to use uh, my name. Uh, so I'm going to come over here to the text tool or the uh, text edit tool. And I'm going to double click into the name to select the name. And I'm going to put my name in there. Once I have my name, I'm going to go ahead and grab the pointer tool. And I'm going to select everything like this. And then come up here to path and union. And if you kind of look zoom in you can kind of see that everything is kind of welded together into a nice pattern shape so that looks pretty good so we're going to set that aside we're going to select another one here let's grab this irish one i'm going to use the short uh, keyboard shortcut so Control c for copy and then i'm going to select uh, click on over onto the page and then Control v for paste and it will kind of paste wherever your cursor is we're going to put my mom's name in here. So I'm going to select the text edit tool, double click into the name. I'm going to write her name, Colleen, good Irish name. There's two L's. Don't want to misspell her name. Uh, but you can see that it's a little bit longer than uh, this little frame. It's not a big deal. We're just going to zoom in here and we're going to select the frame. And then these little nodes in the middle here, uh, just grab that little arrow and pull that out. You can do that on each side until it looks good. And then uh, if you're happy with that, we'll just select everything with the marquee tool and then come up here to path and union. And we have another pattern. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside and let's grab uh, one more. I'm going to copy that control C to copy and then control V to paste. And now we have our copy here and this block style is a little bit boring so let's put something different in there let's put um let's put somebody's name uh david and then let's select his name and then we're going to come up here to the text properties tool it's usually at the top of the screen or it's off to the right uh it just kind of depends on your layout so i'm going to select that and I'm going to come down here. I'm going to just find, you could use any text that's on your uh, computer that you feel comfortable scrolling. I'm going to use this Cooper Black, I think. Oh, let me select it again. Cooper Black. There we go. And then I'm going to click Apply. And now you can kind of see that uh, we have this new font. And you could use any font that you feel comfortable doing. So maybe we want something a little bit more funky like, uh, I don't know, there's like a flower one I have in here. Yeah, this we can click apply so we could do something like that. And then we could stretch out the name to fit if we would like uh, and manipulate the text that way. Once I'm happy with everything, I can select everything, come up here to path and union, and that will weld everything together. So we could just go ahead and start arranging these on our paper so that when we print them out, uh, we have all three of our patterns. And it's really that easy. There's not a whole lot to it. Uh, you don't need to be an expert in Inkscape. You need to have some of the basics down, uh, but uh, you can see that it is very easy to do. I just wanted to do a quick little demonstration of how the kit works. It works very similar to the other kits that I have over at Scroll Saw Village. 
Uh, so if you go over into uh, patterns and look up the business kits, uh, we have a whole bunch of them, uh, a lot uh, that we do during the holidays. And then we're going to start doing some of the uh, major holidays as well. The store page will have additional information, including what's included in the kit, uh, as well as instructions and any additional information. So if you have any questions, uh, be sure to ask. At any rate, I just wanted to do a quick little demonstration to show you how it's done, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the kit. Thanks for watching. Bye.